Let me tell you what I wish I had known When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story Who lives, who dies, who tells your story From Hamilton Have you ever wondered, when you're gone, will people tell your story? Will they talk of you as family, a friend, a foe? Will they say good or bad things about you? Today I will be talking about a person who is known by some, but not by all. There was a man named Jack Cullen, who just happens to be my great grandfather. He lived in Canada, and he was an amazing disc jockey. And for those who do not know what a disc jockey is, it's the same as a radio host. He started out in 1946, and his career ended in 1999. He died six months after his career ended, and my Nana liked to say that he died because he was not able to work anymore, because work is what made him him. In those 53 years of work, he interviewed everyone you can think of, from Marilyn Monroe to Ella Fitzgerald. I wasn't able to find a list of people that he has interviewed, which sucks because there's a lot, but here are a few of the names that I was able to find. Um, Louis Armstrong, who was so charmed by Jack that he allowed him to release the bootleg of his performance. <laughs> then there's Nat King Cole, Harry Belafonte, there you go, the Beatles, which I love to tell this story. When the Beatles first came to America, he was the person who took them from the airport to one of their shows, which was their second show in America in Vancouver. And after the show, he interviewed them in his pool at his house. So they actually hung out after that. Um, then you have Judy Garland, who most people know her as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Then there's Michael Buble, which Jack was the one who introduced him to the person who signed Michael Buble so that he can continue his career on. Then there is Alice Faye, Jack Benny, Sammy Davis Jr., Kay Starr, Tony Bennett, Bob Hope, and Henry Mancini. He loved big bands like and jazz. Those were his favorite things. And that was the most of what he played, and those were the genres that he interviewed people in, usually. So, one of Jack's biggest regrets is not being able to interview Frank Sinatra. Jack didn't exactly follow the rules. <laughs> he did whatever he wanted, and he did crazy things. And really, he followed his own rules and no one else's. What he used to do is he used to booze up the bouncers, uh, get under the stage, and illegally record these people performing. And then, not only that, but he would play it on his show and sell the records in his record shop. And sadly, Frank Sinatra caught him in the act of doing so and they were never able to record or interview ever again, and he regrets it so much. And because he was so crazy, and he was, he just didn't follow rules, and he was his own person, it, he did great things. He made history in Canada. He was the first, okay, how did this go? He was the first freeform DJ in Canada. A freeform DJ is pretty much someone who performs anywhere, really. And he would do them anywhere at all. Like, back then, people did not go out and record their shows live in front of people. And in Canada, he was the first person to do so. He would do it in jet skis, he would do it in the pool, he would he would do it in the mall, he would do it in strip clubs, and it was amazing, and people were astounded by him, and he would do night shows specifically, too, so people would go to sleep listening to him, and he, he just, he's awesome, and 
you know the Hall of Fame? He's in that, the Canada version, and he even has his own star, which is amazing. And really, anytime anyone tells me any stories from him, any, like any of them, I always notice that he's just so happy and he's living his life the way he wants to and nothing else can get in the way of that. So what I take away from the story and what anyone should take away from the story is that you should live your life happy and the way you want to and that you should just pursue happiness above anything else. I hope you enjoyed learning about my great-granddad Jack.